Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. It's Danny here. And Sam. So today we do another Q&A sit-down video regarding interracial couples. Yeah, so um, we've compiled a list of the top questions all interracial couples um, get asked, and we're gonna be answering them for you based on our experiences in relationship. Sounds good, let's, let's get it started. Okay, so number one question, what is your ethnicity? Okay, I'm gonna answer first. So, what's my ethnicity? Take a guess, guys. Pretty obvious, right? I mean, 99% of people are gonna say I'm Chinese, and you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm Chinese, originally was born in Shanghai. What about you, Samar? So, 99% of people don't guess what I am. I get like all different guesses, like, yeah. like from Indian yes. to like, Sometimes like Latina, Mexican, yeah, Lebanese, Latins. like Egyptian, everything, but I'm actually Persian. Um, yeah. And born in? I was born in Spain, so I've actually never been to Iran, but my ethnicity is Persian Iranian. Yeah, so if you guys are curious about our ethnicity, here's your answer. Yeah. Let's move on to number two. Number two. So, what was your family's reaction to your relationship? Uh, when I first introduced my wife say okay well, oh, well when I first, first introduced told first told him that you know I'm dating a Persian girl so my parents like Persian well so yes they're you know they're very good at making nuts <laughs> like pistachios so and what's, stuff. what's known in China yeah I know in China it's like all the Persian people would be like making nuts this pistachios nuts <laughs> almonds and stuff like that so we're like, okay well you know they just make a joke that like, oh, they're there. Are they eating nuts all the time? They very good at making <laughs> nuts. <they> are. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first reaction. That's the first reaction. But uh, as soon as they're um, you know they get to know my stories with with Samar and they're just have more curiosity about how we met, how we um no no get to know each other and stuff. So they're very supportive. So yeah, um, my parents. I think when. The, when I first told them, like they were probably surprised that I was dating like a Chinese person, but they're pretty open-minded. And my sister's also in, in an interracial um, relationship; she's married to a Caucasian uh, man. But yeah, I think they were just their their main concern was like, oh, what does he do for work? Where what type of education does he have? Like, uh, is he a lawyer? Is yeah. he a, uh, is he a lawyer? Is he a doctor? Is he a, a businessman? Does he own yeah? A so business? so um, does those were kind of like what they were more about versus ethnicity but yeah and they met him they thought he's great they loved him so yeah, um, yeah they were cool I think it. you're like you told me that uh, you're actually very like kind of very hesitant a little reluctant to like to like kind tell of, them about to break in the, the beginning yeah to yeah. break the news like dating Chinese and I guess they so. take a guess They're like your mom's like take oh yeah she guess was where? guessing on ethnicity and then like the last one she guessed was yeah, Chinese guess it's like, like never oh, imagine really? never imagine like, why yeah. she's dating a Chinese yeah all right Let's move on it's number, totally different, right? Yeah, number three. Okay, um, so would it be easier to date your own race? Would it be easier to date my own race? Uh, based on from my experience, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not at all. I think every relationship is very difficult. Uh, is has struggles and uh, difficulties. And um, you know, regardless of your your race, you know, I've dated Chinese girls. It's just as hard as dating any other races. So, what about you? Um, I feel like. It might be a little easier just in terms of like we we have such different tastes in food and mm -hmm. so um if i was dating like my own race i know that food wise always, yeah food wise we'd always like eat the same stuff or That's enjoy true. the same stuff yeah. um and also communication so your parents and all of his family in china don't speak english, english at all, yeah. so it's and i speak very broken mandarin so it's hard to communicate so i feel like it was my own race, it'd be easier to communicate with in-laws. But other than that, yeah, I agree for the most part, all relationships have, you know, challenges and struggles and... Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, are you worried your children will be discriminated for being mixed race? Um, I don't, I'm not at all. I think uh, our kids gonna be, actually be, be paying more attention. They're gonna mm -hmm. love our kids because they're so exotic and so yeah. unique. And you don't see Persian Chinese walking around in the mm -hmm. cities. Not that many, right? Okay. So I think they're just they're gonna get more attention and people are gonna treat them better. That's my opinion. 
Yeah, I also agree. And especially we live in Vancouver, it's such a multicultural, diverse yeah. society. There's mixed people everywhere, interracial couples everywhere. So it's not, I don't think it's no. a cause for concern. It's okay. And they have a, yeah. kids got a tough dad, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back, it, back them up. So they, they, they shouldn't be worried. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be any more discriminated than say if one of us was discriminated against. So. Yeah. Well, you don't, but you you never know, because nowadays kids are, kids can be very mean sometimes, yeah. and they're they're they have very honest, they like, share opinions, and but I think, yeah. I think in this society, Vancouver, it's a lot better than other places. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, do people stare at you when you're together in public? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. especially you know when I take you to a Chinese restaurant. Um, yeah, there's yeah. people. There's people who just would be staring, be like, oh, okay, this Chinese guy with with her. I mean, it's yeah. like if me with uh, another white girl, I think it's it still gets stared a lot, but it's not as many, not as much as like being with a, yeah. a Middle Eastern because I guess it's just it's, rare, right? it's rare to see a Chinese guy with with a Middle Eastern girl. Yeah, beautiful girl. Aww. Okay, so so yeah, I just get stared in public quite a bit. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree too, and I, I also notice like when we, it's usually when there's like a group of like brown skinned men, yeah, they, yeah, they always stare. I don't know if they feel like oh he stole one of our girls. Or uh, something. Like, yeah, be like oh man, so what's going on? What's, yeah, what's that? I, I don't know. What's, what's their story? Like what's going on? Yeah. So yeah, it's. Uh, so yeah, we do get looks here and there for sure. Um, yeah. Which you don't like, I like. I, I'm, I'm yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I'm I, okay. I'm like, with I'm that. okay uh, being stared by people. I mean, it's kind of kind of cool. You know, yeah, get attention. You, like, you like attention. Yeah, but you you don't so much, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, do people ever comment on your relationship in public, or do they even know that you're in a relationship? Uh, yes. Actually, as a matter of fact, we travel last year uh, around the world. I think especially when we travel in China, people are so curious about us. They keep like just they will actually comment like not so far away. They just like so close to you. They were like, like you know like you look at you in a in a different way. They just uh, kind of curious about like what's going on with this. Like am yeah. I am I. The, her, together, her, like, I'm her, I'm her like her tour, tour oh, guy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you, you I'm, I, a lot I'm her times. tour guy. Like, what's the? Uh, is there like a language exchange student stuff like that? Yeah. But they, they come at us. They always say they want to know our story. But nothing, nothing negative about it. It just they just, just curious, curious, just yeah. a curious mind. So yeah, and actually, to address the second part of the question, people know we're together. When we even in Vancouver, when we go out to eat in restaurants, we always get asked if we're paying separately. <laughs> And I never noticed that before, like if I'm with like a Middle Eastern man or something. Yeah, I, ne exactly. we ne I never get asked that, but when we're together, we uh, like almost 99% of the time, we get asked yeah. that. Yeah. Even if we're wearing like our wedding rings, and yeah. got my, you know, pregnant belly yeah. out, they still ask. Do you guys want to pay separately? This, yeah. This is, and they, they, they actually give me a breakdown. They're like, oh, this is how much she spent. This is how much you spent. <laughs> You spent 22, she spent 25. Uh, do you want to pay separately? Say, oh, no, 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 yeah, that actually together. happened like this week at yeah. sushi, right? Okay. Okay, um, next question. Do you get frustrated not being able to express yourself in your own language? Uh, not so much, to be honest with you. I think I can uh, make myself understood. Uh, yeah, uh, English is like really good so yeah i think it's uh it's, it's easy but uh i do have friends that i solely speak mandarin with i have met i have those mandarin speaking friends so um you know I, when we go out when we go out and i love to speak mandarin with my friends mm -hmm. and obviously like she's gonna ask you translate like yeah. translate translate like yeah. let me know oh, what do you guys talk about? about what do you guys talk about translate but yeah like uh i I, I do speak Mandarin with certain people, speak English with um, majority of people. Yeah. So there's, I don't feel frustrated, uh, you know, speaking, not able to speak my own language. And I, I'm proud of speaking Chinese with uh, my, my, my Chinese friends, even like the people uh, in public, like I don't know if they're Chinese out, I'm more willing to speak Chinese with them because I feel like it's easier for them and it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of an advantage. Easier, a tongue, right? Exactly. Um, for me, I, I don't get frustrated just because I feel like my mother tongue is pretty much English. Like I do speak Farsi, but I can't express myself as well in Farsi as I do in English. So I would I prefer communicating. Yeah, English. she doesn't even know what lion means in Farsi. Like what? No, what? I know lion. I yeah. don't know tiger. Yeah, she doesn't know what tiger. Like is. some words it's, I forget. Obviously. I was like, well, how do you say? How do you say tiger? 
And as like a, a, a five year old girl, a mixed girl, like can can say, oh, what, what like tiger? if I look it up and I see the word, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, what tiger is, but okay, you know what? I have pregnancy tiger. brain, so I yeah. kind of forget a lot. She know what tiger is, if I think. Anyways, let's move on. All right, so we're actually at the last question now. So, what have you learned um, from being in an interracial relationship? Okay, uh, interracial relations relationships are beautiful, and uh, it takes a lot of work, uh, a lot of patience, a lot of empathy because you really have to based on the different culture because they're, they're coming from different cultures there's a lot of different temperament a lot of different mindset so you really have to put yourself in their shoes in, in their perspective and then you know yeah. take it take your ego outside and try to make the uh, if you guys in a fight try to make it make it better try to try to make the situation better not make it worse so if you know that person would make the tick, just don't do it and just try to make it make the situation better. So it takes a lot of empathy, a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree, especially the different cultures. So yeah. it's not just about seeing things from like another's perspective. You also have to consider the whole cultural background and yeah. you know that's made them who they are. Exactly. Um, but I do feel like with with Persian culture and Chinese culture, there's still quite a lot of similarities. A lot Even of similarities. You would think they're totally different. Yeah. Um, we both but, have like a long very history. Similar values, yeah. uh, we both like to save money. Yeah. Right. We both like to buy properties. Both so, like very family oriented. Yeah. Like you know. Exactly. Both are very polite. Yeah. You know, if you go to a Chinese household, you go to a, a Persian household. They're so loving. They're yeah, so really friendly. They're very good. They they wanna like they wanna give you so much food. Uh, you no know, stuff you with your your stomach with tons of delicious food, and you just. And you can say no. So yeah. again, it's like we have so much. So there are quite a few similarities, which makes it kind of easier. But um, yeah, I agree definitely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think we're a great couple. Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up to our video. And let me know what you guys think. And uh, what are the struggles you have if you're in interracial relationships. Yeah. So let us know. And until next time. I'll see you later. Bye.